Hello, busy mom. How are you? I am Deb, your personal kitchen consultant, and you are in the kitchen with Deb. I am the queen of my kitchen. Today, I'm going to talk to you about five best ways to store your kitchen spices. Now, have you said to yourself, one of these days I'm going to get these spices organized and you keep saying that and you keep putting it off. I've done it in the past too. And in fact, I'm thinking about rearranging my spices again and I'm hemming and on with that idea and trying to find something to, interesting to do. Or are you one of those moms that says, I don't know what option to pick for my spices to store them. I'm not, just not sure at this point. If that's you, you're in the right place. So here is what's going to happen today. We are going to talk about the fact that the phone rings every time you want to go live. So what are you going to do? So anyway, we are going to do that. The first one is your hanging spice organizer. Now I had one of these a long time ago and it hangs on the wall and it's usually got like 12 or 15 bottles depending on how many fit on the roll. Mine were glass bottles, they all were labeled, they all were nice and neat. And the only thing I had with this that with the issue with it was if I needed three spices to carry for my meals, it worked out. But if I needed more than three spices, I had to go back and forth. And the issue with my spice rack was the bottles fit really tight in it, very tight. And I had a hard time. I had to keep wedging them in, and sometimes I had to move the next one to get that one in. It wasn't working out for me. Now, I've noticed the hanging spice oil organizers now. They give you more room at top, so you can get your spices in and out. So that is a lot better now, I noticed. That really, because I know I had a wood shelf, and I had to wedge it in, and it was not fun. I'm like, I'm done with this. I need something else. Second is a two-tier Lazy Susan. And I mean, and I'm saying two-tier because... If you have a lot of spices, you're going to need to get a lot on there. Whether you're putting it in the Lazy Susan in your pantry or on your countertop. And put them in there, alphabetical order, on the bottom. In rolls, all the A's going toward the center, all the B's going toward the center, C's going toward the centers, etc., etc., etc. And I would put the rest of the alphabet on top. Some of your spice bottles are going to be taller than other ones. Some are bigger. Sometimes you buy the bulk bottles. Sometimes you don't. It just depends. So you may have to put, if, if you have a low bottom, you might have to put your garlic on top that you bought the big bulk size on top, even though it's in the, it's out of alphabetical order. And the third option is a countertop spice turner. Now what this is, it's square. It usually has a knob on top where you can turn it. And the bottles are in there sideways. They usually tilt it up like this so that you could see them in the labels. That is really nice and it's got the nice silver on it to match your stainless steel appliances in the kitchen. That looks really nice. And again, you start your alphabetical order, top to bottom. This rolls A through D or whatever it is and go around. And you, you can buy wider spice turners. The one I, I was looking at has um, four sides to it, but that's not enough for me. I have to go look at uh, one that's got taller to fit more bottles. 
you've got you need to know about how many bottles of spices you have so that you know how many slats you need for that one now four if you have the space this is a good option a kitchen drawer you just lay them out in the kitchen drawer like that and you just face the labels up so you could see what it is and I've even seen people in the drawer they have the the shelf thing so you it kind of raises them up a little and it looks really nice with that shelf organizer in the drawer that, to lay the spices on and when you do lay it in your drawer put it in alphabetical order starting from the when you open up the drawer to going back and that helps you find the spices too. That's really a convenience if you have the drawer space. I do not. I cannot do that. And our last one is magnetic tints. Now these magnetic tints either have a metal sheet that you can put them on and hang up on your wall or they stick right to your refrigerator, which is nice. It kind of looks like this, but it's just, it's just narrow tin, and it's got a see-through lid so you could see how much spice you, spice you have left. And, of course, you've got it labeled. These, I think, are really cute. I was actually think, I'm thinking about putting some of mine on a tin and trying one of the tins out and putting the tin on my refrigerator the one one a couple of spices that I use the most I think they are so cute with the little see-through lid and you put your, you got your labels on it so don't forget to the best way and the easiest fastest way when you're cooking is to have those spices alphabetized have them stored, alphabetized. Try one of these options, see what works for you. And I'm if you don't don't know and don't know or don't remember, your personal kitchen consultant has got her paid membership open now. And I've got the four I've got four trainings a month month in there. I've got the hot seats, the bonus hot seats for you. And we really peel back those onion layers in. Solve that issue for you. DM me and I will send you the link. And those are my five best ways to store your spices. Thanks, busy mom. Bye.